Oh, hi guys, come in, come in, welcome, welcome to the humble abode. Right, so today's YouTube video is gonna be with uh, Jamie's show. Oh, Jamie Clark PT in Limitless Media. What are you doing in here, man? I know it's your room, but what are you doing here? What are you, what am I doing? What, what are you doing here? I'm in your room. Isn't that what I should be doing? Without, without a good motor, nothing moves. I mean, so steer the ship. I steer the ship. <laughs> We've got a 600 horsepower engine here, though. Full speed. <laughs> Hey mate, how you doing? <laughs> yeah, good bro. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, we've been getting the cardio in. Step count's been good. Uh, quality of sleep, seven out of ten. Obviously, this week there's no need to change anything. We've got everything in place that we need to. We know the score, overall body uh, accumulative load when it comes to training, because we're going to be trying to bump up as many calories as you can for all the variables. So we've obviously got our training, we've got our diet, we've got the supplements, we've got the cardio, we've got a step count. Okay, so those, those are five things that we can all manipulate. Now, what I wanna try and do is, is manipulate a couple of those every week. Not a lot that's gonna get in the way. Um, so we're gonna treat it as you've got a lot of, lot of I wouldn't say uh, time, but like we've got a lot of resources we can chuck towards this kind of next eight to 12 weeks. Just get your head in the game and go, okay, cool. As of next week, we need to flick the switch because I'm doing the same. I'm doing the same as of Monday. Like I'm going into a prep as well. So like 150 percent. But we'll the more the more results will come, the more you'll be like, yo, this is this is good. Just like as always, just let me know. All right, all right take care. Bye bye bye. So that was one of my clients in Australia, Dan, and um, we're basically just transitioning over from a pretty long off season. I'd say we've probably been in a in an off season since April this year. So we're going May, June, July, August, September, October coming up to nearly eight months um, and we're just gonna strip him down now so it's exciting always look forward to these kind of phases because you build it up build it up build it up um, and you uh, you know what to expect half the time so it's always a challenge but it's a challenge that I very much look forward to with my guys and we'll see so if you see another guy thick skin shredded with his obliques coming past his bell end then you know who he is <laughs> he's one of my guys so yeah. Can't oh, okay. fucking wait, mate. So we do T walk first, then go to the back, then and then comparisons. With comparisons, is it the one do you think are gonna fucking win? You don't just call everyone out for comparisons. Uh, so with your class, because it's a class of six, what they'll do is they will bring you all out and they'll just compare you. Okay. And you, my friend, will get moved into the fucking middle because they'll be like number fifty-eight and number blah blah blah. Please switch, and then you'll go right into the middle, and I'll be like. Yes, now, big man! Peanut butter. I'm like three quarters out. Don't take that. Sorry. I've got it, mate. Don't worry about that. Squash is right with you there. Well, oh, better than alright. <laughs> So, hello my people, so, right, today's video is all about this man to my left hand side, JC, Jamie Clark PT, um, and I just want to speak about the journey, first of all, because obviously, we where, go way where, back. Where do you start, man? Where do, where we, do start? we start with where that? Where shall we actually start with that? So, first and foremost, this is one thing I always say to you, we were friends before, like, clients, associates, yes, business, like, coaches, you know what I mean? 
So me and Steve know each other for a few years. Um, we met doing a shoot. Yeah, how did we actually meet? Was it that time that Asa Fit came? Yeah. So it was a few years. It was a few years ago. Um, and obviously, uh, you can call it like a chance encounter because obviously we met that day. We followed each other on Instagram. We become friends, whatever. And now we're sat here. I was away from my first show. So me and Steve go back years. Obviously, we've grown together. We've developed together. We've literally gone on an amazing journey with each other, haven't we? Yeah, it's been, emo it's been emotional, um, and here yeah. we are today. Yeah, yeah, because obviously, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get jo I'm going to get Josh to uh, overlay a couple of pictures of us. We was it February. February last year. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use that one. I know exactly which picture and get fucking ready for this. It is, you wouldn't think it's the same two guys. The moon face Seriously. emoji, mate. We're still repping Marikilo though. I know. That's actually mad, you know. So the picture that we took that you see on the fucking screen is outside Marikilo's headquarters. And I'm wearing Marikilo, you're wearing Marikilo. That's mad. Yeah. Crazy. That's, some things die hard. So yeah, it's just, um, that was, do you know what, like you say, 18 months ago, we were both in a completely different place, physically, mentally, financially, everything has changed, man, everything has changed, literally every aspect of our life since then has just catapulted forward, and I think a big part of it is, like, obviously, we've, although I'm your client and you're my coach and stuff, it's like, personally, we've pushed each other to new boundaries, yeah. we've always wanted the best for each other, and I think that this level of relationship, I think is what makes it such a good coach client relationship is that it goes beyond that professional level as yeah, well and we, we do well to we do well to split yeah. two as well yeah we do yeah which is obviously when you look at other cultures and stuff it's strictly it's professional hard. with us we do have that perfect balance of both yeah what i wanted to ask you like obviously i know you started this journey kind of last year why why did you pick me why me so Obviously, in the shape that I was in and things like that, like that wasn't a surprise. Like I listened to the wrong people. Um, I, I got coached by the wrong people, the people that didn't really give me 100% of their effort, people that didn't really have the correct knowledge to give me the right guidance. I was very, very um, unsure on who to trust. Mm. So for the months leading up to it, it was a case of who do I trust, whatever else, because I was asking you questions like yeah, months I before that, I jumped yeah. on board. Yeah. And I think just what you were going through at the time was exactly what I needed to go through at the time. Not only physically changing, but business. Obviously, we're coming straight out of a lockdown. Yeah. Uh, business was changing. Mentally, was changing. I just looked at it and thought, what he's doing, I, I need to do. And we've had such a good relationship and stuff. I feel like it just it just helped made the process a, a lot easier and a lot more efficient. Yeah. Because it wasn't one of them where it's like, you, sometimes I speak to other coaches and they don't get me or like some of my clients I might not get them 100% but with me and you it just clicked yeah what was important to you obviously like you say the aspect of trust but what was important to you in terms of like ticking boxes for like the the aspect of getting a coach on board like what were you actually looking for to be honest at the time nothing like this yeah not a lot nothing like this man uh, like Chris said before um, I've kind of fell into it 100% I have I've always wanted to compete I've always wanted to like push myself because I knew I was capable and I'm sat here today so clearly I am capable of doing it um, let's be honest August I was unhappy with myself the way I looked my life everything was mm. I was unhappy I asked myself some very serious questions uh, all of which I didn't like the answer to mm. so it was literally a case of becoming at peace with myself mentally physically getting everything in the right aspect then me and you did that shoot as a bit of a runway because you kind of sprung mm. it on me I was like, I think you could do a shoot. Yeah. And I was like... I'm not well, usually like that, you know. No, I, don't, I, don't I know like exactly, that. but we did it. And we was like, right, okay, we'll use this as a runway to a show. Yeah, good place. And then it's been a fantastic year for both of us. Yeah, and we're sat here today. So it's... Full time online. Coaching. I didn't... Yeah, exactly. Busy, busy coaches. Like, God knows how many clients between us. <laughs> and it's... Uh, but yeah, mate, I didn't originally set out for any of this. No, it's mad. That's why... That's why... I wanted to get your opinion on it because, yeah. yeah, like you said, we've got. What about of... you? What was you, what was you expecting from, from this? Wow, look, I mean, like like you said, you hit the nail on the head. Like we've grown through this together. Like the coach that I was, and also the person that I was when Jamie came on board. Like you didn't really have a, an awful lot to go off, in terms of like making the decision as from a from a from a strictly results based and business and coach based notion 
you didn't have much to go off because I, I probably worked with a handful of people like um so yeah like obviously thank you for like putting the trust in me uh, first of all because obviously that's that's the main thing and that's ha half the decision that's why i'm doing this video to show you guys that like it's not just about asking the right questions sometimes you just have to have that instinct and have that kind of click moment where you go okay cool this is i think this is going to be the right decision for me um and yeah it's it's i think it's the you have an incredible ability to digest information and I think that's why you are in the position you are in now, because like you, do you know what? You don't really ask an awful lot of questions, but you're similar to me. And this is why we get on so well. Like I don't ask my coach an awful lot of questions, but I pick up things yeah. and you've done the same thing. You haven't really, you very rarely gone to me and gone, oh, what's this, this and this. You just kind of listen to what I'm saying, interpret it in your own way and then implemented it. Um, and that's why obviously you've done well. We both have the same mental Elliot um, and that's why you've done well. Um, obviously Elliot gives you a bit more instructions than me but yeah you've, you've used the you've used the platform like and it's and it's and it's a credit to him for using the everyone everyone who has a coach you can either just be told what to do or you can try and actually understand the process and, and that's what you've done that's such an important point that you've just made that like I spoke about it before and I did a post about it not that long ago and I said it's not a magic formula it's not a magic pill you don't hire a coach and you instantly become better like a coach is a guide, you've got to do the work. Do you know what I mean? Like if you don't want it, you won't get it. But ultimately, what you just said, like you yourself with Joe, me with you, us both of us with Elliot when it comes to business, we want it. We don't just want to go, oh, well, I've tried this. And no, no, no. We'll invest the money, we'll invest in ourselves, and ultimately, we'll take ourselves to the next level in every aspect of our lives. And we have done. Mm. Like it's not like we're sitting here going, oh, well, no, 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 we have. In, in the space of 18 months, we are unrecognizable in every aspect That's crazy. and every facet of our lives. So, yeah, yeah. Because uh, for uh, yeah, the start of twenty twenty for both of us was dark, dark, weren't it? Yeah, obviously twenty twenty was a tricky year for a lot of people because yeah. obviously COVID. But I feel like twenty twenty was the year definitely to save my life in terms of like yeah. where I was with myself mentally, like it, happy, like happiness and stuff. So it was a uh, we come out of it maybe we completely flourished through that year. Obviously, we um, one of our fa favorite quotes is um, ease is a greater threat to progress than hardship is and we went through a lot of hardship in 2020 and when we look back now at the time it was difficult but all that is what is like what's molded us to be sat here today having this yeah, conversation it's crazy so it's been a, it's been mad and obviously we haven't and the thing is as well what i find fascinating is that we haven't we haven't gone this is going to be the end goal we just no. we've kind of we've kind of just incrementally increased the the difficulty of what yeah. I'm asking, asking them to do. Cause I have, I didn't go to him in August and go, yeah, are, are we going to do a show next year? Like that was never the no, thing. It wasn't. No, it was very much a case of, okay, we it need to get the fat off. The fat kept coming off. The fat kept coming off. And I made the decision to go, okay, I planted the seed. I said, listen, and to be fair with him, planting the seed, he either wants it or doesn't like, I've said to him like, should we do a show after this? He's like, nah, fuck you, you fucking silly cunt. So, like he's yeah. done after this. If I want, if I want to do it, I want to do it. If I don't, I don't. Yeah, but you exactly. planted the seed, and it's like say it, it's been incremental. We've not put any. There's not. This is what's silly. There's not been a goal. No. It's literally just get better, get better, get better. One percent every single day. Get better constantly, and it's led us to where we are today. Because this time next year, like God knows where we'll be. Because this time last year, mate, I was literally in horrendous shape. I was in the mi middle of getting my fat off and stuff, and now it's like you fast forward a year and we're. Out, I'm like what two hours out from my first shot yeah crazy so the difference in a year is crazy you've got to think like a year's time where we're going to be so yeah and I think that's really important for people who are watching this to pick up as well sometimes the end goal isn't actually what's important it's the process and the journey along that yeah. and that's where we find ourselves like some people might look at us in, 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 in isolation and go oh they've planned this whereas in fact we've just made sure that we're ticking the right boxes and this is where you'll always make progress. If you take a scenario and you take something you want to achieve, if you map out the X, Y's and Z's, as long as you keep doing those X, Y's and Z's every single day, who knows where you're going to end up in six months time. And that's what's happened here. We've just set out a plan and set out a structure on, on what we're trying to achieve. And it's landed us in a position where he's going to go fucking smash his show today. Like Joe, JC is the only client and I've told him plenty of times, where I expect a lot from him today. I'm never like that with anyone because I know what he's capable of and I know how much he's put in and I know how fucking good he looks. So yeah, like today is um, it's gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a nice, 
cap on specifically the last 18 months and then yeah and then it's a case of growing and going again he said it we'll, 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 we'll clean the slate we'll run the slate clean and then we'll go again and um, who knows what will happen in, in the 6 months 12 who months knows time. what the next uh, 12 months brings Mate. but obviously like the way I've looked at it is we've we've absolutely smashed this for the last year um, we've ticked another box this year by just because obviously I want to win this thing 100% and you want me to win this thing and you're convinced I'm going to win this thing but the fact of the matter is that me just being here in itself is a huge win because right. I've, I've, everything I've been through and where I was last year where you were last year to navigate me to this situation this position that I'm in uh, is a huge win mate so what I want to do is get it out of the way right okay done a show could uh, and then we just look at getting better next year and bringing an even better package and then this time next year we'll have an even better conversation and it just keeps going and going Get better and better every day, every year. So, That's it. yeah, well, that's the journey, bro. And I've, I've enjoyed it with you. Yeah, man, it's been good. Give anyone special. better, man. Mate, that's the thing, man. You know, and we get on. You know, it's we don't. A lot of things don't have to be explained, and that's when I think you know you've got something special. So, yeah, roll on the fucking show day. Yeah, man. <laughs> Excited to see what the future holds. Hopefully, a fucking big fat W today for me. But well, yeah, stay tuned and you'll find out. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're giving out trophies or medals. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so my people, now uh, the deep chats and the emotional chats are over. Hope you've wiped your tears with the tissue. Now, uh, now we're off to get him touched up with a little bit of tan, and we will then be coming back again to chill. He's on in about a couple of hours' time, so coming to the crunch time now. He's looking good. He's looking dry. We'll probably put a couple of photos up here and show you. So yeah, we'll see you at the venue now. Right, and then I'm not there at the UK UP show. If you don't know who I am, I'm Jamie's coach, Stephen Fazik. Uh, not, not relatively long, eight to 10 weeks, I think it's taken him very, very happy with how things have run. It's been pretty seamless, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, we're gonna take less than 10 weeks to get ready. And he was like, are you sure we're gonna have enough time? I'm like, listen, Jason. So yeah. He's always one of the best of my vibes, always. Right, so we are now back off to the hotel. Um, to be honest with you, I'm just going by JC. Like, do we need to really go back and forth from the hotel? No, but JC wants to kill time. Um, and to be honest with you, I'm more than happy to make sure he's happy. As long as I can do anything in my power, this goes for any client to allow him to chill and allow him to feel like he's on his shit, then I will. You know, he, he's very concerned about sitting around and and waiting around, um, so we're just moving around for the sake of it. So yeah, that's just a little thing that I like to do, making sure it's all about him today. You know, I know we're filming, but today is all about him, and I want to make sure that he feels absolutely comfortable. One starter meal for Sir Jamie. Thank you very much. A very fine ingredient list of uh, root and custard. This is, a, this is about, I'm gonna be a different man after I finish these. Incredible ingredients hours, here. No Beautifully food, no selected intake, from the, the mountains of squashy land. Wanna be a new man. Whole earth, that's gorgeous that. Yeah, that's gorgeous that. I'm not surprised you inhaled that. Yes now my people, so we are in York today for Jamie, one of my clients, shows the UK UP. It's a pro qualifier, gonna be a big standard. Now, what we're gonna do is, we are gonna head off to the show. He's on in around about, I would say, an hour. So, he's coming close to it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you haven't liked, like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you are notified every time I make an upload because we've got so much more of this content coming soon. Let's go. Yes, now, big man, yes, now! Because if you don't, right, and I'll tell you this from experience, if you don't enjoy yourself, because you can't do anything else now, you just can't, like, yeah. all of the work has been done, this is now the time for you to to just relax and enjoy. I'm only going to step on stage for the first time once, so we're going to go in now, get the final touches done, and then get all my kit off, get on stage and showcase all this hard fucking work, so let's go. It's nothing. <laughs> so going off now to uh, the stage for the final time. We've been in and out of this venue all day, but this is the time where we come and stay. And the only time we are leaving 
is with a big fat fucking first place medal round that motherfucking gorgeous bloke's fucking neck. That's right, my friend. Yes, now, big man. That's all she wrote. <laughs> New accessory, guys. How do you think? What are we saying out of 10? I'm off to Madeira Fashion Week next week, so before I try out a few new accessories. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the same thing, is it? Wait until your best So, JC, to put it bluntly, if he hasn't won that class, then there's going to be a fucking riot on the whole whole theatre. So, with that being said, I'm going to go grab him some more food now and fill him up a little bit because I think he's got a real good chance in the overall. And the medal looks massive. Looks about the size of this steering wheel here. Oh, look at it, it's about this big, probably a little bit, there, a little bit bigger, so yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get some get some more food and we'll be back in touch. Right, so this is for Jamie. We've got some sweets. We've got sweets. So this is for me, this is for Jamie. No worry, we're worry about this in my time. Right guys, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Almond butter, squashies, bagels. Now we're going to go to the show. Let's go quick, quick, quick. Seven and 29 points. What place is this? <laughs> it's almost like I do this every, uh, every other week, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, who's who's, who's more tanned out, me and you? It's still you? It's all. <laughs> you know what you know what yeah, need to that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a That's a pure natural complexion, that is, mate. You're... Who's? Yours is. Well, why am I going to say yeah, that about you? You're fucking fake. He's a though. Caribbean dream, lad. I'm not. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Kom eens serieus. Kom eens serieus. Waar is dat? The told you it's no I told you. Right, let's go quickly. Right, picture that. Right, so, I'm not going to lie, everyone's like loving the fact that they've won their class, which is congratulations to everyone, but we've got shit to do, so come on up there everyone now, see you later. Right, my people, so the show day is done. JC came away with first class in his first place in his first. Oh, fuck me, I'm tired. Can't speak. <laughs> first place in his beginner's class. Um, then the overall was a bit of a shit show. They all came on. Bearing in mind, there's four judges and one of them, only one of them, was sat at the table. So, yeah, you can kind of read in between the lines. They didn't really judge an overall. Um, that obviously was predetermined. And if it, no, if that's, how the, if that's how the UK UP want to run their shows, then by all means, but I think that's bullshit. So, yeah, they're probably not going to see this, but just be wary. If you're going to take a good client, good athlete to a UK UP show, um, be happy with the classroom. But yeah, there was, a, there was one person at the table and she was eating, so yeah. That's how he did the overall. But nevertheless, he's won his first class. He's over the moon. So because he's happy, I'm happy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, boys and girls. If you haven't liked the video, please like it because we have more of this content coming very, very soon. Please subscribe if you haven't already so you can know when we're going to upload next. Hit the bell icon and I will catch you guys in a bit.